huge milestone for the SAS Mafia and we're super honored to have Ajinkya giving the SAS talk today um, and commemorate this special milestone. Uh, so just quick background on uh, pad care, which I'm sure Ajinkya you will go into in, in, um, in more depth during your call, but uh, during your presentation, sorry, uh, but Padke Labs is a circular economy startup, yeah. which is disrupting the niche and untapped market of menstrual hygiene management. Um, Padcare works with a network of offices and office parks to collect waste sanitary pads and bring them to their material recovery facility. Uh, the company has built a patented technology to recycle and process and separate the sanitary waste into pulp and plastic. Uh, the pulp is reutilized in the packaging and paper industry, and the plastic is converted into granules to make the pad care bins. So amongst various accolades, the company was recently featured on Shark Tank India and is also funded by Tata Trust Social Alpha, Rain Matter Foundation, um, Pune's Venture Center, and Spectrum Impact, amongst others. So... Really excited to have you here, Ajinkya, and over to you um, for the presentation. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Priya, for having me here and for inviting on this special uh, day of the SOS Mafia group. I, I, I joined SOS Mafia group almost six months back. We are going to touch on 15th, where Pat, I'm going to get opportunity to represent what we guys are doing at Padkia and how we are converting the used sanitary napkins and the diapers into the like this diary that I'm using is made from the sanitary napkins. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so thank you for that having me here. Uh, 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 so let me just share my screen. Uh, but uh, before uh, that, let me just give a quick introduction of mine, how exactly I've started a journey and why specifically today i'm going to talk about the green innovation those are going to drive the circular economy into the future uh, 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 yeah so uh, basically uh, i'm sanitation entrepreneur and mechanical engineering by heart and this most of the my nurturing school program as well as childhood nurturing was happen in the same way where my family belongs to the business as well as social impact background so i always want to do something for the society by technological means and that's where uh, 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 where the journey of Padcare started in July 2018 with vision to create a sustainable society by enhancing hygiene standard. So this particular uh, topic about the green innovation, why I choose that and, and how it is going to directly with the circular economy, because recently there are a couple of uh, uh, the programs that have been part of, I observe, it is just not about the circular economy means putting a seed in the particular pain or putting certain things and just cutting a certain things down and extending a particular life. Uh, but but it is more than that, where there is a requirement of a material innovation, there is a requirement of interdisciplinary uh, different engineering programs, including physics, mechanical, electronics, AI, and a couple of others, and can that, that can create an innovation across the sectors. Uh, I was just reading one uh, 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 article where I, in 2020 I found that uh, uh, the plastic that got generated in 2020 is approximately three, uh, uh, four million metric ton uh, uh, in, in terms of the size. And approximately we have recycled, generally India recycled in between 30 to 40% of this kind of plastic, approximately one metric ton got recycled. Um, and out of which, if you look, if you found out the data, only 10 to 15% recycled material is we are able to recover in their original properties. And the major reason behind this is the innovation gap. And so I thought, why the country like in India, where the, 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 the preservation, where the recycling, where the extent utilizing the product a couple of times when I was a child, I think the books that I was using for my, my school program that were, 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 were used by my brother four years back. And then I using. So it is already in our culture, but how we are not able to leverage that. And that's why I've chose this particular topic to talk about the green innovation and try to highlight the few uh, in, uh, uh, key startups or key players, those are working in a different diverse domain and they are trying to break and literally trying to create and disrupt this particular space. But before that, just to give an idea what exactly the circular economy about, because that is a very important aspect. Uh, the Before jumping on the economical aspect, like circular economy aspect, it's very important to understand the linear economy. And that is where take make waste model comes. And where everything starts from the resource extraction, it is start from the, how we are getting that particular material from the mine for the uh, probably from the extraction of the oil. And then it goes into production in the sustainable manner as per their 
uh, design life cycle program or uh, as per the product life uh, management program, then is distribution, consum consumption and the waste. That is the end of life cycle. And in context of sanitary napkin as well, uh, if you look at the sanitary napkins, uh, the first as per the data, the first part that got invented in 1880s. And, and as a human, we always try to develop the products for our own convenience. In the same way, we developed the, uh, the parts that got in 1880s, first part got invented. Then it, the, it started production in the larger capacity, distribution, consumption. But throughout this design thinking cycle, throughout this distribution, production, and scaling up cycle, no one has thought about how much amount of waste is going to get generated. And right now, the insulation, which is a burning technology, that is the only mechanism uh, is, is there that is end of life cycle. There is no further economy down the line. That is end of life cycle. That is end of resources. That's what we are extracting from the nature. And, and this is a linear economy uh, we observe uh, uh, in la till the last decade and then the, recently the circular economy coming into the more in the picture. So what is the difference between the linear and circular economy? When we talk about circular economy, which is very inevitable is going to happen in the future. And it is all about the retaining of the value, uh, retaining the value of the own product in a different ways. Maybe we can just uh, extend the life of the product. We can use repeatedly, reuse, repair, or if there is no alternative option available, then during the doing a conscious disposal and recycling, that is very important part. And when it is comes into the recycling aspect, this is just not about the product. We have to think about environment as well to recycle this particular XYZ product, how much amount of energy is required and want to do, I have to do the kind of carbon footprint analysis as well. So, when when we are going doing a shift from uh, the linear economy to circular economy, always there are certain kind of principles are going to drive. And I feel these are the few principles and definitely where there can be a more the ways where they are going to drive a circular economy. But I feel the reduction in terms of waste and the and reduce the waste and pollution is going to be a major aspect. And that is going to be a principle of first principle. And how it is going to do that when we are doing a certain kind of recycling process, definitely in terms of pad care as well, when we are not the when one kg of pads are not going into the landfills, but when we are recycling with our mechanism, we are consuming 5.3 kg of carbon equivalent. Uh, then second, how we can extend the life of the product, how we can keep them in the continuous lane loop, like while while designing it for the better durability, reuse and repair and recycling. And most of the current electronics product we are observing, the repair is coming into the picture where they're trying to keep in more accessible, more in, in maintenance can be easy. That can help us for the repair. And that is where the key products materials to be get, getting used during the design thinking cycle or a designing process going to be a part of another principle during the designing for circularity. And the third part where the focus on the regenerative system we as a like as a during the product development cycle it is always great if we want to use or during the resources non renewable resources we have to use for development of the product that can create a direct impact on the circular economical aspect as well but why now right uh, uh, by 2027 probably we will hit 1.4 billion kind of population and and I feel probably we don't have that kind of resources. There is going to increase, like there is a winding gap going to be a supply and demand. There are 63 million people though have, though have lack in terms of access to the clean water. More than 240 million population lack of access to the electricity. Then there are 22 Indian cities under under 50. They are in one of the pollution, like under WHO. They are one of the top 50 polluted cities. And... There is, in terms of food waste, there is worth rupees seven billion dollar uh, 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 food waste trade getting annually, and India has like that at one of the lowest uh, hunger index. So as this we are moving ahead, as the the economy is developing, the breach and the gap between the supply and demand is increasing. Uh, there is a directly like uh, reduce like there is another need. RGQ, it is there is a direct dependency in terms of economical vulnerability. Uh, India imports almost more than 70% oil and there is depending upon the other countries, right? Uh, and, and you can observe like when there was a kind of Ukraine war and, and the Russia-Ukraine war, the price, oil price got hit. There are certain kind of global parameters that directly impacting on the our day-to-day uh, -day lives, right? And 
India, there is a waste value model where India can reduce that burden while innovating new products and definitely to promote equitable growth as a part of inclusivity and diversity. And I feel these are the, my few learnings throughout the pad care program, like pad care on a started. These are very important parameters that what we call three C's. Uh, con, con, uh, 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 it's called like, like three C Trinity, right? Where as any product, when it's going to deploy into the market, the first part is going to be the convenience of the consumer. We have to design, develop, uh, manufacture for the convenience of the user first. Then there is a cost and one important parameter that is a consciousness, that is awareness of the work on the climate change, circular economy, sustainability, and how it is going to impact on the future generation and where uh, is going to be important in terms of communication. And if any during the product development cycle and the circular economy startup or the product side, we have to consider all these three C's in terms of convenience, cost, and consciousness to come upon the one part. And because of that, every green innovation product there should be a combination of these three. Uh, uh, and the green innovation should be a central part of this cost, convenience and consciousness. And the, the synergy between all the three is going to drive the scale. That is going to bring the scale and, and we are having direct indirect impact on terms of human lives as well. And in terms of pad care as well, where we try to understand, there was a failures at our case, where we thought initially, let us develop for, we assume, the user consumer uh, convenience is just, uh, 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 is recycling is something they are looking for. No, they just want to get rid out of it in the nearest dustbin while maintaining their health, hygiene and privacy. That's all. Where we prioritize the convenience, we come up with the bean and then we took the recycling center, material recovery factor and different factor. I will explain in my next few slides exactly how we guys are doing. Then cost, right? The cost parameters, can be like initially it was a bottleneck, but but if you have to observe that there are a number of ways where we can provide the cost discount to our direct convenience factor and by earning a, this the cost or the uh, the revenue from different channels and consciousness where the different government, different organizations, foundations are trying to push this particular boundaries. And when the cost, convenience, conscious are going to play in more consciousness, going to play in harmony, then only we are going to achieve our goal. Uh, of net uh, uh, net uh, uh, zero 2030 uh, net zero uh, on India level and with that I just want to highlight the few startups before going deep dive into the pad here there are very interesting startups those are trying to match these three C's and I tried to pull in from some some of them from uh, our cohort as well and there are a few different startups they are from my network so I thought I will just pitch in where there is there are different domains. It's just not about wet waste, agri waste, non recyclable, or the flower waste, or probably the electronics waste, battery waste. There, are, if you look, every product that get, jiska uh, janam hota hai, definitely there should be a kind of the way to dispose in the right way, and that is a new business opportunity, right? And I feel how the carbon masters have come up with the carbon uh, lights, where how they are converting the wet waste to. Uh, the the uh, the fertilizers, bio fertilizers and bio CNG. Same with the Nobel Exchange at Pune. They are working with the Pune Municipal Corporation and converting this uh, uh, wet waste from the, all the PMC convert into the bio CNG and where the PMC buses are running on that. Then a very interesting startup of one of my friend Ankit from Lupon. How he is trying to revolutionize this particular food waste to the protein uh, rich protein based content while using the uh, the the certain kind of insect. Then Kraft is Shubham, where he's trying to convert the agro waste, like agri waste into the uh, paper and pulp, where the Takachar is the structure is trying to convert agri waste into the like the the the, the construction waste. Then there is an interesting Terra waste, which is IIT Madras based uh, startup where Mr. Shailendra is running that, who is trying to break the polymers again and trying to create a fuel. Then definitely everyone is looking uh, like Anish for the next uh, stop where how he is revolutionizing this particular space uh, uh, and, and trying to create a non-recyclable plastic uh, to very interesting project like, like the specs with, with their own patented technology, right? And, and at the pad care, how we are revolutionizing this space that no one thought why sanitary napkins and diapers can be recycled or not. Like, and that is where we are coming to the picture and, and trying to break this out and creating the circular economy. And there are a number of other startups. So ecosystem is getting mature. And ecosystem is getting more stronger, and that's why the there and there is more need. It is if you look the overall value chain of a, uh, the the circular economy, starting from 
uh, getting this material extraction, material innovation, the post use of the material, uh, and and where the inter. This is I th I feel the climate tech, the circular economy. This is the very few field where you require the combination of different disciplines, and and that is that is very interesting part. Right. We we at the pad cares to give example. We have a team coming from mechanical engineering background, physics background, chemistry, microbiology, uh, then material innovation, material scientist. Uh, then someone is working on the the pulp engineer. So when all this team work in the harmony, then only this is going to succeed because manufacturing sometimes easy, but to create a value from the waste that is sometimes it is very complex. And and as an entrepreneur, I firmly believe, and like me, all these leaders believe to convert this waste to value. And direct indirect impact of all this in the sustainable development goals, where today I want to highlight the how Padkir Labs is just not providing the coming or focusing on the circular economy or SDG 12, which is responsible consumption and production and disposal. And we are trying to focus on the gender equality and the uh, trying to create a, that kind of uh, uh, like balance on the workplace level. And with that, I feel like woman participation is going to increase. As per McKinsey data, more than 171 metric, uh, million new woman workforce is going to get added. Right now, only uh, yesterday, I was just doing uh, one uh, research study where I found out only 30, 31% in the workforce is women, right? If you want to be a one of like top economic growth cycle, like the, the one of the top, like under two, uh, in terms of economy, there should be or there must be increased women participation. When women participation are going to increase, automatically that is going to enable to zero down the gender uh, sustainable development of gender equality, decent work and economic growth. But along with that, there are certain challenges. We have to provide them a safe environment at the workplace. And that is where what we are doing at the Pad Care Labs. So in July 2018, when I graduated from my mechanical engineering discipline, this was a small incident, right? That someone like was one small in trigger point. It is like we have to empathize. Like circular economy cannot play we, unless and until we are able to empathize our targeted audience. And with that small trigger point, someone like literally was handling the use sanitary napkins by using bare hands, right? And when I interacted with more than two thousand females, and I, I just came to know about female need accessible disposal mechanism at source while maintaining their health, hygiene, privacy. The waste picker want to understand, uh, handle this waste in more dignified way, more sanit in more sanitation and specific manner. Then third, unfortunately, if you look, that was a completely linear economy. No one thought like parts can be recycled, driver can be recycled, and that is a one just idea why it should why it should be like this. Why cannot we create a certain kind of economy out of it, circular economy? Because the part contains the pulp. Which is pulp pulp, which is India imports four hundred million dollar pulp pulp every year for different applications. It contains PPP kind of plastic and super absorbent polymer, right? So with that one thought uh, and comparison with the existing burning mechanisms available market, we thought yes, this is a. I thought this is a. This is a. I think the problem statement that I can spend my rest of the life. And this is how the Pad Care Labs born in eighteen. Padcare Labs is a clean tech plat uh, platform where we are providing menstrual hygiene management as a service to environmental conscious B2B organizations, communities, housing societies, while aligning with their sustainable development, ESG, EHS, IGBC, like different green building norms, but ensuring the health, hygiene, and wellness of female employees, as well as dignifying while dignifying the waste pickers. And I'm very proud to say that after it's been four, it is four and a half years when I start, since start, start, started my this journey. And initial two years, there was lots of hustle, like, and, and I'm here due to the ecosystem only. Without ecosystem, pad care nahi uh, rata tha. And, and, and because there was reason, we got every time, every six months, three months, we got a right push from the ecosystem, urging you guys are on the right path and you can achieve. And because of that, it's just not about technology, that's what we have developed in lab. In just last 18 months, we are serving exactly right now 289 plus B2B clients across six cities in India serving a lack of home and recycling a millions of parts while conserving 150 metric of carbon equivalent. And how we do that? With simple pad care ecosystem, that's all. And then here, it is just not about the technological innovation. Here, we are trying to create a synergy between the, the, the convenience of the user by provide the pad care bin. Cost, there is no cost to the user. It is more about ad service, product as a service kind of model. And the consciousness where we are providing free awareness camp, free 
uh, like uh, to the users like this material like uh, notebooks were going back to the users so that they can getting more aware and conscious about disposal mechanisms of the pad uh, so talk more talking about our technological aspect pad care bin is a decentralized unit that cuts goes into individual washroom level right now more than 5000 units are being deployed we collect the sanitary and where the pads can be stored for 30 days we collect the sanitary napkins from the campuses we bring back to our nearest material recovery facility where uh, the current facility is in pune running with 1.5 metric ton daily processing capacity which 50000 pads can be recycled same di diapers as well and uh, uh, we didn't just like one tenth of the existing cost, like comparison cost with the incinerators, the traditional vendors, and within five minutes of time, we are getting more recovering more than ninety nine percent material with more than ninety five percent material quality. And this pulp, is what we call a white gold, having application in the agri industry, convert into highly special specialized chemicals like viscous, the cellulose acetate, uh, then car uh, uh, carboxylyl methyl acetate. There are the uh, ester and ethers group that what we convert. And plastic we convert into granules. And good part is how we are using these granules to convert this bin back. And the users need this transparency. The consciousness will bring how we are communicating this data to back to the users. Hence, we track a data and we provide to our clients back uh, uh, to start with a traceability. So, talking more about the technological aspect, I would love to show how exactly this works. Uh, this technology has a kind of 5D principles of disinfection, deodorization. Decolorization, disintegration, and deactivation of superabsorbent polymer. Uh, it is a it is a it is a mixture of mechanical, chemical, electronics, and certain kind of chemistry that gives this kind of output. And already receive a different certification for the uh, uh, from the relevant pollution say PCB and the relevant government organizations. So what we do that this bill that goes into the client location, we pick up. We bring to our safe boxes where our EHS staff that handles that. Then we scan the individual liner before going into the system. Liner is also more recyclable where we are recycling convert granule back. Uh, then there is first stage is a shredding mechanism uh, uh, where we are uh, 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 shredding it in with a special purpose considering the elasticity of this material. Then there is a green consumable that what we have developed. Then all this material get into mixing chamber, and there is a one interesting fact that what we uh, design that what we develop because of that we can able to separate the pulp and the plastic in any kind of complex product. This same mechanism can be utilized on pads, diapers, tetra packs, textile waste. That what we are working with the Aditya Birla group, and that is a fun. That is where you can how you have to think broadly how we can utilize this technology in broader level aspect for different applications. And this beautiful diary, this beautiful paper, we are working with the crafts to convert into like that pulp that what we are getting into the paper. And where you can see the collaborations in in in, in startups as well. Uh, on global level platform, we are the only company who has tried a decentralized recycling system. We are collection and end to end menstrual hygiene management stack that what we are providing to our clients with affordability and more eco-friendly way. Uh, if you look, uh, this new technologies also bring a new business model. In our case, the service is one of the channel, the output is to value, but there are two additional revenue channels that what we are exploring and working with the partners on the EPR front with the, uh, 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 and then second is the more about carbon and how the data can going to play a role in carbon exchange in the future. That is where we have to working with uh, Enkin, another, uh, uh, the partner in the SUS Mafia group as well. And it is just not about the technology business, but how we can involve the tire to tire three people to to take this on the uh, in the lower level platform and can bring this revolution. And I'm very happy to share that post tank almost 50 percent inquiries we what we got from tire to tire three cities, uh, tire three cities. They for the micro entrepreneurship model. They want to run the system or different self help group. And that is where we we are riding and creating this micro entrepreneurship model for them that can scale and they, everyone can earn money. And it is very sweet to see like how how the overall ecosystem is supporting and getting aligned with the pad care because this is the one cause that what we started and we are onboarded almost to 80, 89 plus exact customers, uh, including Meta, Capgemini, and I recently Goldman Sachs, uh, then Mercedes Benz, Hero. Uh, uh, then we are working with the with the big clients that I, uh, like and a couple of others as well. And the major reason, if you look, why everyone is adopting, why everyone is paying for these services, 
and is as a part of their zw or esg uh, 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 reg different regulatory uh, related alignment and we are providing this as a service to them while aligning with their hr related goals as well in terms of inclusivity diversity and providing best accessible safe hygienic workplaces to them and third reducing the facility management uh, facility related challenges so we are solving the first we are providing the hygiene in a sustainable manner we are first solving the user problem customers problem in a sustainable way and that is what we have our reach uh, so we, and, and this is a i, I think uh, gif is not playing here but the major reason to pro to show this particular part where like i was like on the tank where suddenly pew started running towards me to yell a blank check and i was shocked like, what exactly is happening but if you look in a detailed way the intent of padcure going into shark tank is not about just transaction our intent to go each and individual household there are 330 million menstruator in, in india and and we want to reach an each and individual level and break the silence around entire mhm aspect and and create that kind of trigger point such that everyone can talk in on a period positive way like which is called positive period way and can able to and we can that is a one way to democratize the sustainability and that was the intent and that what i think what was feel uh, like we got a one inquiry like we got flooded with different inquiries but one specific inquiry how post that how one of the uh, supreme general of supreme court of india uh, push this to have this system in their supreme court office like imagine the impact that is happening on the other hand one is a tire three woman she wants this in their individual household right and that is where the change is coming in and ecosystem is supporting and i feel through this these are the opportunity for the startup though who can work on with a different business model it is not always good idea. like innovation is one part technical innovation is going to be the core of the heart of any kind of circular economy startup and and i feel there are different business model associated with that it can be a circular supply chain creating a circular supply chain recovering and recycling where padcare labs is working product life extension right and uh, that is where uh, like like mostly there are few startup like uh, in automobile industries they are doing they are trying to uh, refurb which also uh, at the parker i'm happy to show that we are also using a refurbished laptop uh, 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 to reduce the electronics waste to give extent sharing as a service started that is reducing the the uh, uh, asset leasing options product as a service where we are doing so there are different aspect of the circular economy having huge business opportunity uh, and ev is a, one of the focus definitely like the one of the focus aspect like uh, how the electric vehicles playing a role in a climate tech and circular aspect but i feel there is huge amount of gap still the opportunity into waste management domain in in product innovation domain how we can just reduce uh, uh uh, uh reduce the pollution at source while come up with the innovative packaging solutions while come up with the innovative innovative materials where the companies like uh uh zero zero circle he, uh, like she's like they are working on the uh seaweed based packaging there are a couple of others uh, as well they are working so so this is very sync very happy to see how how this is evolving and for an entire because the one solution is not going to fit for it but pad care will always push for the menstrual cups as well because menstrual cups is good alternative because that is going to reduce the waste right and that is where every everyone is going to play a pivotal role in the entire cycle so what i feel uh, the these are the few concluding points uh, we are <laughs> coming to an end with this are learning from my pad care as well as the uh, 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 research that i did where circular economy is going to be the inevitable and there is going to be a winding the demand between supply and demand gap so we have to create like we have to the dependency that what we have on import we have to reduce and circular economy is going to play a major role india is getting leaders leaders in different domain how we are uh, uh, hosting for the g20 summit how it is going to push on the government side on technological innovation aspect i am very open to say that we are pad care nahi rata tha without government support we got half a million dollar from different government grants to take that risk as a young like young a uh, student like where where i was have a just kind of idea where government supported a lot uh, and and where the technology and innovation creates an opportunity that is going to accelerate transition towards a circular economy and we have to there is opportunity we have to just write a knock uh, knock a door and there you can there will be ecosystem will be there for you uh, again i want to highlight the three c's like right, where convenience cost conscious is very important and that is going to drive uh, the future of the circular economy it's just not about the product it is how we are creating the the user focused products and services 
and and bring the circular economy at the center of that that is i feel is good and then then there are fashion construction agriculture food rare earth materials there are a couple of are having big case opportunity in circular for the circular economy startups uh, so this is like where our uh, uh, india's prime minister said mr narendra modi paris or no paris it is our conviction that we have no right to snatch from our future generations they are right to have a clean and they have right to have a clean and beautiful earth and we people do not have the right to take more than necessary from nature and this is how we are coming from top of the leadership and as an individual as a jinkya i am also trying to align and create a, the space for our future generation in more greener and equitable way so yeah this is from my side thank you thank you for this opportunity i'm looking forward to have i am open to take few question and answer on on business model on probably around this space thank you great thank you so much ajinkya really inspiring talk uh, thanks for sharing it with us i'll just uh, close the recording now.